chain. What? No, no, yeah. no, 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 come on. You gotta go. No, not right here. Uh, we, we can't do it right here. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You have to leave. I'm sorry. No. Not on club property, dude. I can't help it, man. Some people just know me around here. You gotta tell them that when you're here, you're not working. Oh. Fine. My reputation is getting too much around here. I gotta go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Take off. I mean, I mean, that's what you're saying, man. I well, I'm just asking you, not here, man. That's I all. I told the lady to leave. I didn't sell. She knows where to find me if she needs some. Definitely not fucking here. Especially not here. Hey, I got a question. Yo, what's up? Um, some shit has been. On my mind, I've been trying to get rid of it. Okay. Um, and I think it's because it's tied to like my mom and shit. And so I was wondering if you think like the chaplains or something that like somebody I can talk to about this shit. Yeah, I mean, Ross is a, our chaplain, but you could also talk to me if you want. I just don't know. I didn't know if like that's your expertise or not. Oh, hey, uh, Ross, you have a minute. I do. All right. So I can't shake this shit and I am not able to get a hold of the person that kind of what planted this in my brain. Mm -hmm. But it's just been wearing at me. Mm -hmm. I was told that like, um, uh, there's some suspicions about my mom and it's kind of, but then like the guy never like followed up with it. The, and so it's the, kind of like been just on my mind. Like I was, I don't know. Like my therapist says that like I was probably over it. And now this has kind of brought things back. Mm. And I, it, I don't know if it's bullshit or not, but it's bothering me because like, I even kind of was like, hey, man, I've been thinking about, like, what you said. And I'd like to, you know, because he said that he had some more, but he couldn't talk at the time. I guess, firstly, who was it that said stuff? Uh, if I can know. If not, that's fine. I don't know. I think it's because of who this person is. is it's bothering me the most because I feel like they're not fucking mm. around with me. Okay. Okay. He's an undersheriff. Boudreau? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boy. He, he's just an interesting one. That's all. I've talked to him a few times. About what? Uh, like... About my mom? No, no. I mean, just in general. I, I know of him because I've talked to him a few times. I mean, the, the few times I've met him, he has been not serious. Like, he, he always is kind of egging people on from what I've seen. But obviously, you know, I do remember going to the police department to can pick up uh, a gun that was found that was mine that they returned. And I remember seeing him just absolutely egging on someone in handcuffs and just laughing about it so it i don't know what kind of person he is but based on the limited interactions i i don't really think i've seen him be serious so what did he just say i have some information but i can't talk about it right now kind of thing yeah pretty much surely if it's gonna pour and he would have found the time before now right right you know what that's right i i just think that's, that's not right. something you make someone wait for especially yeah. around like I mean, even in October, you know, the holidays are coming up, like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Like, that's not something any decent human being is going to make someone yeah. can wait for. Yeah, this was like right after Thanksgiving. Uh, no, that's fucked up. Like, like you, you, you make time. It doesn't matter how fucking busy you are. You are perfectly allowed to want answers and mourn and 
do what you need to do, but also just be careful, you know, with people and how they act, because honestly, there's a lot of fucking insensitive people around, and there's just... I mean, I don't trust any of the cops as far as I can, can throw them, but they haven't really been much helpful with anyone getting hurt or involved uh, with this club, if you haven't noticed. From what I've seen, they're not too keen to help people they've already deemed criminals, right? Yep. They they just want to judge you. And oh, yeah, help. I remember this. This guy named Stevens. Fuck him. He does not like us. No, no, he doesn't. I'm a part of Black Lotus. Why would you say that? So you're telling me that you're still an active 1% biker. And do you know what that 1% means that you guys pride yourselves on and your and you on your your vest, your little your little what do you call them cuts? Yeah. That carries cuts. a lot of that carries a lot of weight. Maybe you don't realize it, but that carries a lot of weight and that makes you a fucking menace. That's just like, yeah, no, we don't want their help, but also I'm not seeing them try. So, you know, what? what's the fucking point? What is Alex? I mean, we dealt with the uh, the person that killed Alex ourselves. We dealt with the person that tortured Macy ourselves. Like we took all of that into our own hands. There's private eyes out there. I saw like three ads for one today. I had one that yeah, Bex wait. actually hooked me up with. Yeah, I gotta find the right one, I guess. Or you just see if you can get any sort of information from literally any part of it and do it yourself. You do what you feel is right for yourself and what you think your mom would want you to do, right? Oh, my mom would definitely want me to find out what happened. So that's what I did. I took matters into my own hands. I hired Jax, a fellow club member, to look into this incident with my mom and within a week, he found more information than the cops ever did. There's a specific conversation we need to have because the information I uncovered is not good. Not good how? Well, I need you to try to make a promise. The information I'm going to give you is going to have some names. Well, name, I should say. Need you to not seek retaliation. Not because I'm trying to protect that person, but because I'm trying to protect you. Be giving you this information is more so that you can sleep better at night, not so you can go off on some crusade uh, to avenge your mom. I uncovered it via being able to access systems that I shouldn't have been able to access. I hacked into a few databases, got some more information on your mom, and also looked into the flights. Looking into all of that information and looking at when flights left and certain storm patterns and things like that, that again didn't match up like you said and like the uh, investigator said I was able to figure out that it was Canada that was piloting that plane that your mom crashed in you gotta be fucking shitting me no fucking way Jax I have proof I can, I can get it to you. I don't have it on me. Because it's in a computer, but... Where the f*** is he right now? Pain. You need uh, to... Uh, hang on. Why the f*** was he flying my mom? I don't know. Oh, God. I know you're upset. Mm, I don't, there, there's got to be a, a, a better word than just upset, Jax. You're pissed off. You're fucking irate. Why the f was John Canada flying my mother? 
I don't know. And here's the thing, Shane. Even if you go to him, he'll either deny it or he'll kill you too. He's not gonna fucking kill me. You don't know him anymore, Shane. We've, and it has changed. E what do I, what do I do then, Jax? What am I supposed to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? I'm supposed to just live on this fucking earth, know that that fucking scumbag who who is responsible for killing my mother, and just let him be. Not necessarily let him be. If revenge is something you think your mom would want, and something that you want, then I can help you get it. But it's got to be done right. It's got to be done smart. When I did my revenge, Shane, I was on cameras. I went to jail for what I did. I don't care. Like, I don't fucking care. I understand that. But you have people that care about you that do care. At the time, I didn't have that. I told you this, Shane, not because I wanted to send you into the spiral of what should you do and things like that, but because you deserve to know. Because if it was Tomlin or Macy that was on that plane and I didn't have, you know, a fulfilling answer, that's what I would want, is somebody to tell me if they ever found out. And I'm sorry it probably puts you a thousand steps back from where you were. But I just figured you'd want to know. And if I'm wrong, then I'm sorry. Oh, I'm... Thank you for letting me know. I can keep digging. I can keep trying to find out more information on it. Me giving you Canada's name is not a 100% guarantee that he killed your mom, okay? What is that supposed to mean? It means that he was the only pilot that I have been able to uncover thus far that had a passenger and the plane never landed. Like it's destination. I haven't fully gone through the entire day yet, but that was the first one. But all signs point to it because every other plane, from what I can tell, landed that left that day. His was the only one that did not. Now, I haven't been able to determine fully if his plane number matched the plane from the wreckage. Because that is a bit of a deeper hole to dig to try and get that information for me currently without, you know, tipping off the FIB and shit like that, that I'm looking into national flight databases illegally. Kind of screams terrorism. So I have to be very careful with what I look into. Now I can eventually, but it's going to take time. But Jane, I'm 99% certain it was Canada. One week, right? One week. Next Tuesday. I will have everything for you. We got to mm -hmm. go up into the windmill farm here so I can connect to a specific cell tower. What is this hacky shit that you're doing? The hacky shit is information for you, brother. You getting shit from like cell towers and stuff? No, it's what my server is connected to. It's a specific cell tower and I have to bounce it off of a bunch of shit so it can't be traced. But I have to come up here every time I need to connect to it, the secured server. Gotcha.
Holy shit. What, how many words per minute you do? Uh, last time I tested, I think it was like 65. Get out of here. You're typing way faster than that. Okay, so uh, I'll explain this in layman's terms. Basically, I bounce it off a cell phone tower here and it connects to a specific server that I have purchased and built uh, in a small like little fucking den in Italy. And then when it grabs the information, it then bounces off like a bunch of more different towers and grabs IPs and all that other bullshit, essentially. So that way, if somebody tries to track like what I'm doing or, you know, another hacker is trying to figure out what the fuck I'm doing, uh, it'll look like it's coming from Texas or it looks like it's coming from fucking Russia or China or, you know, depends on when they look and shit like that. It bounces about mm -hmm. every minute. Uh, well, first, uh, you got to put your finger in that little slot right there where I put mine. It's going to scan your fingerprint. Don't make sure you are who you say you are. Okay. Like that. Yep. Now it's going to read it for a second. And then when it grabs everything, just watch the screen. It'll pop up. Hey Shane, uh, so information for you here, bud. Uh, flight 81B 63R, which was the flight that your mom was on from uh, San Andreas to Texas. Uh, I found out the pilot who actually piloted the plane uh, was a drug runner who ended up stealing the plane or got in the wrong plane. Something happened that he ended up flying your mom. Uh, instead, um, when he didn't realize he was doing checks on the plane, uh, your mom was already in the plane and something didn't add up. So he took off, um, before anybody can get notified. It looks like, um, according to all the shit that, uh, the airport has since buried, uh, cause they didn't want it to be known that a kidnapping had happened, which is probably why the police didn't find out shit. Um, the guy's name, uh, through some digging, um, and kind of running some shit. Uh, his first name is Xavier. His last name is Gustav. He's a Russian pilot for Ina Pova, or sorry, Ina Popova. It means strong water gang. Uh, essentially it's a, uh, it's a cartel. Uh, that runs drugs from Los Santos to California and Texas um, to kind of help push it into Mexico. Uh, I used my last uh, favor within the Cardinal Direction, my former group, uh, to get information and a picture of him. Um, I just know that it was him because uh, there was some documentation uh, that my good hacker friend was able to unearth uh, and on the dark webs about it um, so if you hear this before we meet up uh, that's what happened so wait hold on uh, a drug runner mm -hmm. what the f dude um Look in this envelope here. Uh, inside is the actual manifest. Of uh, your mom's flight. I want to point out a couple things here to you. So at the top, you can see the departure was from LSIA 
2300 is like 11 p.m. You don't know military time. Uh, the arrival location was supposed to be Dallas Love Field Airport, uh, which was supposed to roughly take about three hours, could have been more. Uh, but they generally round to whole numbers, either rounding down or rounding up. Off the top of your head, Shane, do you know how much a Vellum five-seater weighs, roughly? No. Most small aircraft, like what your mom would have gotten on, roughly 12,000 pounds, roughly. Even with your mom's weight, her cargo weight, giving the fact of whatever she would have brought with her, whether it been a suitcase or even if she brought little to nothing. Uh, clearly, something was uh, not put on this manifest. Do you see what the total weight is? In the bottom right. Oh, it's, yeah. 13,536. Even if you take into account another pilot, another person, we'll say he's your build. So you're roughly, what, 180, 200 pounds-ish? Yeah, yeah. That still you know, wouldn't like account for the the thousand pounds. Meaning most likely they smuggled something, right? Just left it off the manifest. They probably would have passed it off. Oh, it was a fuel or whatever. They would have found an excuse. And this is a little small aircraft and going to a little small airport. People really probably won't care. They probably have people paid off anyways. Your mom unknowingly got into a smuggling plane and probably a mistake on their part. They didn't realize that they had a passenger in terms of extra cargo. They probably didn't expect. They thought it was probably just going to be the pilot and whatever he was flying out. And when your mom met with them on the tarmac, they probably didn't expect that. Or I mean, they didn't expect that. I mean, your mom probably didn't expect probably Russian dude being her pilot. Um, now, why the plane crashed and all that, I don't know. I don't have access to the black box. Um, and this was buried so fucking deep, Shane, it took me a week to get that. That last oh, bit of damn. information that I've been trying to find was that manifest right there. So either LSI also knew about this or whatever organization this guy works for. If it is that cartel that I had mentioned. If it's them, they buried this so fucking deep because they didn't want to know, you know, be connected to a, a murder of an, you know, elderly woman, an innocent woman. Now, hmm. like I said in the, the ending clip there, I have pulled some strings. The last strings I have left to pull. Um, when Tomlin died, I went back to St. Louis. Some of our old, I guess you can call them comrades or brethren, whatever you want to call them. People used to tell us what the f to do. Uh, from different branches, they've now settled in St. Louis and... They reached out to me for condolences and we kind of established a good line of speaking again just in case uh, I ever needed to utilize them for the club. And, you know, they said based on history and, you know, what had happened to me and Tomlin that one favor, anything, whatever it is, they'll do it. No questions asked and uh, no fee. So I asked them to find this guy. Picture where he's going, when he's going, the whole nine fucking yards. So if we have to fucking fly to Italy to get this guy to Ireland, Britain, fucking Peru, we'll know when he's going and we'll go meet him there. If he fucking comes back here, we'll deal with him here. Yeah. But the second I get the photo and everything like that, obviously I'll give it to you. I just gotta wait for them to get back to me. Anyway, so, so 
You told me that Canada was flying. They grabbed a manifest from all the pilots in the system and scrambled them and it grabbed his name to cover their tracks. Holy shit, bro. I'm sitting over here with him in my contacts. Labeling him as a murderer and it was all fucking mixed up. I mean, it, what they did was really good. I'm not going to lie. It, at first, that's uh, I thought it was real. It was that well done. Whoever did this, whoever they hired to cover this up is better than me, to be honest. So moving forward, we have to be careful with this. We have to be under the assumption that they know we're now looking at this guy. Uh, either they don't give a fuck and they're going to continue doing what they do and they'll just protect him or they'll raise security with their movements because he's still going to come back eventually if they're muling shit out of the state. He's going to have mm -hmm. to come back for the drugs eventually. So is he tied to the cartel around this state? From what I can tell, he's been in state a couple times. He has a specific call sign that he uses, which is Raven Watch. Um, Raven Watch. Mm hmm. Uh, that is his like call sign, his tagline when he like calls into the airport and things like that. Because uh, I had tracked the plane itself for multiple flights. Obviously, this wasn't the first flight this plane had been on, right? They they don't just bring out a new plane every time they need to fucking fly. So this plane had been leased out to some fucking bullshit like cover company that makes like fucking bread somewhere in like Arkansas or something like that, if I remember correctly. But it was a it was a false like cover essentially for them to just have the plane there. And every time uh, he had gone over either the radio or signed into a, the system, he signed in with Raven Watch. We're called in Raven Watch One. The blah blah blah. You know how pilots do. But that's the guy. I killed your mom. Like, can we have a way of being notified? Like, if he's back in town? Of course. As soon as I get his face, right? I have his call sign. So if his call sign comes through anything, I have algorithms running constantly that I will get notified when he is back in town. And I've also set it up to send you both an email and a text message. And if you don't respond to either of those in like, I think it's a half an hour or an hour, it auto calls you as well. Mm -hmm. And kind of gives you like a recording to check your email and check your phone. So if his call sign is used before he comes into LSIA, so that's if he's leaving Texas or California, because those are the two spots that he commonly drops off at. If he comes from anywhere else, we won't know until he lands. But if he leaves the other two locations, we'll know before he lands so we can be prepared better. But just know that gives us like, from when he takes off in Texas, it's a three hour ish flight. And it's similar from California. So when we get notified that he's leaving, that's how long we have to prepare. Which is not a lot of time in the grand scheme of things. That's why until I get his picture and all that, Chain, I need you to find two things for me. Number one would be a spot to go with him. So that you can ask him questions. And do whatever you need to. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, I can do that for you. That's not a problem. But number two is to figure out what you want to ask him. Write them down, recite them. I don't really care, but if this guy is as important to this cartel as possible, he's either chipped, meaning he has a GPS tracker in him, or they do that shit. Yeah. We've had to chip people before me and Tomlin weren't chipped because we weren't important enough. But we had to chip somebody who was carrying over a quarter of a million dollars for the cartel or not the cartel, the family that we. Uh, we worked with and. 
Uh, that's to prevent them from stealing money or if they get kidnapped, they can find their money and get it back. And if this guy is a fucking major mule for them, who's a pilot, and it's really hard to get pilots under the radar. And it seems like he's been doing it for a while. He's probably chipped or he's gotten to the point where they trust him and he isn't. This kind of depends. I don't know a lot about this fucking cartel. I've never really heard of them. So they're probably a lower ish time fucking drug cartel, but enough that they have enough power to bury a murder. Which is probably why they never uncovered anything about your mom's murder. And if they did, the police got all fake information. Like, whatever the police found or received is not legit. So I can stop bothering Lane Maximus. The detective that was looking into her. Yeah, I mean, if you need to talk to him for, you know, your own personal reasons, it is what it is. I'm not going to tell you who you can and can't talk to. Obviously, you don't talk to detectives about fucking club shit, but I don't have to tell you that, to be honest. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you, man. I don't know. You got to let me know if, if you get that, like, ping whenever he's, like, in state. Of course, like I said, it, it'll auto notify you and me. And uh, I mean, I'll probably call you the second I get notified yeah. just to even even if you have to wake me up, do it. Yeah, I'll kick down your door. I'll be like, Shane, it's go time. Mm. With this asshole and you can at least properly lay your mom to rest, knowing that dick that Ended her life, had their life ended. 